this is a short uh, demonstration of uh, doing produce grading in X3. I've set up uh, several products to use in this test. Uh, one product is our ungraded product that we'll put on the purchase order, blueberries ungraded. And then we're going to do a process and turn those ungraded products into grade A, grade B, grade C blueberries. And then we'll pay the supplier based on the quantity from the grading. So let's go in and uh, look at the example. So first of all, we have to create a purchase order. This is just a normal purchase order, X3. Um, go ahead and create a new one. <coughs> we'll use uh, general supply as our supplier. And then we'll just do our normal ungraded blueberries. straightforward. Grab your document. Well, that'll let us receive against the, uh, the order. So here's our purchase order, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and receive that. Now, we don't have to do a purchase order. We can just go to a straight receipt to bring those blueberries in. But we do need to tie a lot number to the supplier and do a receipt to be able to, to uh, do the grading. Let's go ahead and do a new receipt to this. Let's choose our purchase order 123. We'll bring that in. We'll leave it at 2,000 pounds. So we have 2,000 pounds of ungraded blueberries. And this should be assigned a lot number as well as we do in the receipt because we want to track this lot all the way through the grading process to be able to, to uh, pay that supplier for the appropriate product. Here's our lot number eight that we created from this receipt. So now we're going to go and do our grading results. So the grading results, let's look at this. We have a bill of material that's going to link these together, and that's just to facilitate the, uh, the process. But here is our bill of material. And we put the actual ungraded product on top as the parent, and then all the components are down here. And we're going to do a disassembly. A disassembly will take our parent product and create all the child products. And so this is how we set up the uh, bill of material. And I can also put, uh, I did this as percentages. And so when we do the disassembly or the grading process, it's going to automatically default to these percentages. And of course we can tweak those as we're doing the document. But let's go ahead and do the uh, grading process. So grading results, this is really just the disassembly process in X3, but just call a grading document. Create a new one, create it today. And then down here, we're going to give our ungraded blueberries. I'm going to tell it what lot number we're doing, how many pounds we're doing. So here's where we're going to choose lot number 18, which we just received it in. Um, we have all the rest of that blank we should fill in because we chose the lot number. Anyway. And then down here is our components, which is what we're producing in X3. And again, it took our bill of material percentages, applied those percentages to the 1,000 pounds, and it says we should get 500 grade A, 1,200 grade B, and 300 grade C. But we could change this, say we only got 450 pounds of grade A. Um, now it's asking us for a lot complement. This is just the standard X3 fields of uh, extra lot um, information that it's tracking. We can turn that off if we want to. So we have all that captured. Of course, we could adjust these quantities. We may not get the full 2,000. In this example, we're getting uh, 1,950 pounds. So this is an example we received in 2,000 pounds. We're only putting 1,950 back in stock. We assume there was some damage, some bad berries, some stems, rocks, uh, dirt, whatever. So you're never going to get the full quantity, but that's fine. So we received this in. Let's go ahead and create our receipt. I'll create our grading document. So now we have these products in inventory. Um, of course, we have lot 19, 20, 21, so we're using the lot number sequence counter in X3. So now lot number 19, 20, and 21 are in inventory, and the ungraded inventory, that BB ungraded, is now gone. So if we were to go look at this stock by product, let's go look at our blueberries. We'll go through um, our ungraded, and just search for these. So 
had some other inventory out there before. We still have 1,200 pounds that are ungraded from another receipt. So the 2,000 pounds that we did have is now up in the ABC. So of course we have all that. And all this uh, detail is in uh, individual lot numbers. So if we go and look at our EB grade A, let's just go see that lot number 19. So here's that lot number 19 that uh, came from that last receipt dated today's date. So we track all this, and this is what we're going to pull into and add to our supplier invoice. So that's the last step. So at this point, we've done three steps in extra new done purchase order, standard receipt, and then a grading result, which is really a disassembly process. Now we need to pull in our receipt and our grading process into the supplier invoice because we want to facilitate the, the payment back to the uh, supplier. Let's go into the supplier invoice. This is a special version of these supplier invoice screen because we do a little bit of extra work in the background as we're creating this, this item. So we're going to create a uh, invoice for our NAO55 and we can choose the receipt and it's the last receipt, the receipt we did today, 1.6. That was the 2,000 pounds of ungraded blueberries so we click on that. It brings it in but it also goes out and gets the uh, results from our grading document and it brings that information in as well. So now we have the uh, graded blueberries and we have the graded blueberries. And we could actually get rid of the uh, cost for the net price on the, uh, the ungraded. I just left a penny in there, but then we're looking up for the price list with the values of uh, what we need to pay for. For the grade A, the grade B, and the grade C, and of course they have different cost that we're going to pay for. So it, it brings the this is our the grading document in, looks up the cost, and this is what we're going to pay. And so this is uh, done for us. So we kind of facilitate. Oops, I just finished my. Finish my document here and enter the other information that was missing. Go ahead and save this. Now we can go ahead and pay this and we're done. So at this point, it's all done. You know, created our invoice automatically by pulling all this information in. We really didn't have to do anything else. So that's just a quick uh, version of how I think we could do the grading in X3 by using the disassembly feature and that bill of material to kind of pre-populate the disassembly and really give you control over changing those, those quantities when you're doing grading and then pulling that information into the purchase invoice automatically. So that's it.